Hello and um, welcome to the Foundation Tier uh, Revision Skills. Um, this recording is just to do with the area. Um, we're going to look at the exam question, um, which is the compound area um, question. Hopefully the previous questions that you've done on this, um, where it's area of rectangles and areas of sort of triangles and circles, you guys have been okay with, um, but we're just gonna concentrate on the actual exam question itself. Um, so going through this question here, what you'll find is when it's gone to a, a compound area, and remember area being the inside of the shape, the best way of thinking or attacking this is really the first thing is to split it up into two parts. So I'm drawing a straight line down through there. That sort of gives me two areas. Um, I'm just going to call them area A and area B so that we can sort of try to start making some sense of it. I haven't even worried about the question yet. I know that we've got to try to work out the area. So area A, we can work out. We know that it is 14 times 18. So if I multiply those two together, we get 252 uh, meters squared. Now, the second part, part B, um, just a little bit more complicated because you've got to try to work out the base and the height of the triangle. Um, so we know that this whole distance across the top is 20 and the bottom is 14. So if I do 20 minus 14, oh, 14, sorry, that's going to tell me that this length is 6. We do the same then for the height or the width, whatever you want to say. It's 18 minus 11. So 18 minus 11. Um, gives me seven. So the base and height I've got of that uh, triangle is seven times six. So again, we think about our formula base times height divided by two, and then I can plug my figures in. So it's six times seven, seven sixes are 42. Half of 42 gives me 21. Now I need to just do the simple part, which is adding the two areas together. So 252 plus 21 gives me 273 meters square. So this is my now total area of my shape. What I now need to do is actually concentrate and go back to the question. So Thomas is going to keep some chickens in the field. Each chicken needs five meters squared. We need to work out the greatest number of chickens. So we're going to do 273 and we're going to divide it by five. And the answer that we get out from that is 54.6. Now, obviously, I can't have 0.6 of a chicken. Um, and in this case, I need to round down. So it's going to be a total of 54 chickens is the maximum that we can sort of have in Thomas's food. OK, hope that's helpful. Um, please go and like it, rate it. Um, that means I can get to hopefully win the box of chocolates on offer. Pleasure. Happy revision.